Hello, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make these crochet flowers and I'm going to be turning them into a purse or tote bag tag. I was pretty lucky to have two of my coworker friends give me some of the Trader Joe's mini tote bags and I was asked to make some flower charms for them. So I wanted to show you guys how I made them. So let's go ahead and get started. The first step is to make a magic adjustable ring and we're going to go ahead and crochet into that ring nine half double crochets. After you've completed your ninth half double crochet, you're going to go ahead and pull that yarn tail to cinch the magic adjustable ring closed and then you're going to join in the round using a slip stitch. Then you're going to want to go ahead and trim the yarn and then make two of these little center circles. For the next step, we're going to go ahead and weave in these yarn tails. So you're going to use a darning needle and I do like to use the blunt tip of the yarn needle just because I find it easier with this yarn to um, weave my ends in and I'm going to do that on both of the little center circles of the flower. Now it's time to crochet the petals onto the center circle. So you're just going to attach the yarn onto into any of the stitches. I just kind of pull my yarn through and then I'm just going to start doing my um, chain three. So we start with a chain three, then we're going to do two double crochets into that same space where we attached the yarn and then you're going to do a chain three again and then you're going to insert into that same space where you attach the yarn and did your two double crochets to complete the petal. For each petal we're going to be doing that same thing by slip stitching into the next space starting with a chain three, two double crochets, chain three and then you're going to slip stitch again into that original space to complete each petal. Now we're going to go ahead and do this until you get to the last stitch. So now I'm going to be completing my last petal and for this pattern if you did start with nine half double crochets into the magic adjustable ring you should end with nine petals and then for your last one you just slip stitch again into that same space where you started the petal trim your yarn and then you're going to weave your yarn tail in on the back side so i'm just going to show you how i weave my yarn tail in around onto the back side of the flower I did want to add that I do weave in both yarn tails and I do go all the way around so that it meets back at the beginning where I started weaving in and then I tie into a couple of knots and then I trim the tails pretty close to where I tied the knot and then I'm going to repeat that for both flowers and now it's time to make our little chain. For the chain that's going to be connecting um, both of the flowers together, I go, I'm going to start by creating a magic adjustable ring and I'm going to be basically repeating what I did before with the um, center circle of the flower by doing nine half double crochets into that ring and then cinching close and joining with a slip stitch. But instead of uh, cutting our yarn, we're going to then chain 50 chains here just to give us the length and then when we get to the end we're going to do one extra chain and then we're going to half double crochet into the second chain from the hook and we're going to do nine half double crochets so that very last chain is going to be kind of like a magic adjustable ring that doesn't adjust but just a center for us to put our nine half double crochets in and then you're going to join at the top of that very first half double crochet with a slip stitch once you've done your ninth half double crochet, you can go ahead and trim the yarn and then we're going to pull it through. For this one, I like to kind of create a seamless, do like a seamless join here. So I'm just going to kind of um, do a duplicate stitch right over that very first half double crochet, just over the top of it. And then in order to get this hole out of the center there, I'm going to go ahead and weave this um, on the back side, I'm going to weave my yarn tail in around the bottoms of all of those half double crochets. just so that I can cinch that center close. So I'm just going to go ahead and show this process without a voiceover. Mm -hmm. 
when I trim these yarn tails, I'm going to leave just a little bit. I guess that's probably like maybe a quarter of an inch to a half an inch of a uh, yarn tail there because I'm going to be using hot glue to attach these onto the flowers. So I find that hot glue actually worked really well to attach these better than sewing them together. And if you just use, um, you want to use a decent amount of hot glue, that way you can make sure that that yarn tail is attached and that it's going to stick to the flower. But you don't want to use too much and you don't want to put too much pressure when you attach them together because the glue can seep out of the front of the flower and you don't really want that because you'll be able to see it. So just use the enough glue to make it so that they stick really well and then don't squish them too hard together because then you're going to have your glue seep out. So now it's time to add our charm onto our tote bag. So the mini Trader Joe's tote bag was kind of the inspiration for this. My coworker who um, saw little charms on the Trader Joe's tote bag had asked me to make some little sunflower ones. And she actually bought everybody in our class a mini Trader Joe's tote bag. So I made everybody a little set of these and I made a little tag for each of them with their name on it. And that was what I did for um, the girls in the class of where I work um, for Easter. So I really hope you have enjoyed this um, pattern and this video. I have added information on this one to the video description. I don't have a blog post up yet, but once I do, there will be a link in the video description to um, the post that has more details on how to make these little purse flower charms. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.